Next up we have Charlene Chaff. Um, she's the Distinctive Collections Technical Services Coordinator at the University of Washington Libraries. Uh, the Distinctive Collections include Special Collections, International Studies, and the East Asian Library. Uh, she's the current chair of the Committee on Technical Processing uh, for the Council on East Asian Libraries, which has been working closely with the LC PCC community for cataloging, training, rural revisions, and best practices. In 2017, she initiated the CONSER CJK Fund Group, as well as the ALMA CJK Interest Group, and she's working on establishing the SACO uh, CJK Fund Group as well. Um, her primary research interest is related to global digital libraries. The title of my presentation is the Link Data for Student Needs, the Challenges of Linking via LCNet, Listening, Web Data, and Beyond. As you can see, the scope is quite narrow and focused. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as you can see, we have so many personal names. However, I think there's a special group called pseudonyms, the person with more than one identity. Um, you can say they are minority group, but they are pretty like a ch problem child. They may probably need more attention and the special education. <laughs> so for my presentation, I divide into five categories, and I really want to go through some background information and explain to you the scope and the larger of the <coughs> research project. And also, I want to share some of the case study in VR with you, and share the finding, and hope have more discussion and support, and have my some initial recommendation. So first, I want to talk a little bit about VR. Um, as many of you know, VR and uh, integrate many number 45 smartphone language into a single platform. But it's challenging to find the author's name consistently due to various cataloging rules and fake linking. It's a fascinating, fascinating project, however, when the author has a pseudonym, the linking relationship becomes more com complex and ambiguous. So I think this presentation I want to explore how to improve the linking relationship of persons with more than one identity in VR through definition, comparison, case study in terms of a thematic web. In light of identity management in cyberspace, library authority data should include the perspective of privacy and security. And uh, I was really inspired by an article written by our OCRC colleagues. And uh, OCLC identified certain issues such as two name authority record referring to the same entity, or single authority record being the mix of the two entities. OCLC has enhanced the VR data by merging relating name authority data into clusters, assigning VR identifier to the clusters and creating links between clusters as needed, such as between pseudonyms. But as OCLC also suspect that resolving those issues would be very difficult without deep domain knowledge. So we know it's a very challenging field. And as you know, Catalog has been using VR as one of the major research resources for creating name authority record in LCNAP for several years, but found that it's pretty imperative to use this record for a person with more than one identity with caution because it's a linking relationship are complex and may be misleading with domain-specific knowledge. So the scope, as you say, is pretty narrow. I focus on the authority record of persons with more than one identity, and I focus on the linking relationship, especially in the repository via of ESNI, with the data, uh, and also my methodology include in the literature review, definition studies, case study comparison, and the, I want to show some finding analysis. And the, over here, I just want to emphasize, I think it's really important to really try to understand the definition and the terminology, catalog rules, and the, and the conceptual models, then we can really understand it's a linking relationship. And also, I want to have a comparison in the different kind of um, system. is for the personal names, identity, variant names, acronym, uh, pseudonyms, enemies, and joint pseudonyms and partial identities. So over here, it's just a part of my comparison table. It just, it's a long table. <laughs> so I just give you a screenshot. Is this is it's try to compare technology and just in a different kind of um, 
system or uh, communities. So you can see this one from pseudony and identity management, and I divide into three groups. The first group is Wikipedia, in their definition, how do they define? And also for catalog and community if you're using RDA. Also, I try to use the research article, it's almost like a reference tool. It's all the glossary technology related to privacy enhanced identity management in cyberspace. So over here you can just see pseudony, and they have different kind of definition. But if you're looking for alternate identity for pseudony, and then I couldn't really find it in Wikipedia, and you do find an RDA has very specific definition there. And also, if you go to the RDA registry, you do find the, it's under the um, RDA element sets, it's under the agent properties. You can see person has alternate identity, person has real identity there. And also, if you look at the privacy enhanced identity management community, it's quite interesting, as I'm learning a lot inside this community, is it's identify as they define pseudony is identifier of a subject other than one of the subject's real name. And regard, regarding the degree of the linkability, so they only care about the real relationship with, between the names. So you can see very kinds of the pseudonyms may be distinguished as person pseudony, role pseudony, relationship pseudony, role relationship pseudony, pseudony. and transaction pseudony is quite amazing. And it might be the identifier for partial identity. So also here you can see person being defined here. So over here I just want to show you the difference between person or identity base. So as you can see that table, so you can see different system with different kind of person base or identity base. And also you can see the linking of pseudony and the anonyms. Under the RDA and LCPCCPS, somehow assumed to link the real man and the one's pseudony. If you go to the Wikipedia biography of living persons with the emphasis on privacy, I think it's an issue which should be under consideration. And you can see fundamental difference in different cataloging rules, even though you under the same they are um, they come from different nation, national libraries, but it's really different based on if it's art, they implement RD or not. And there's a very first kind of types of pseudonyms and their linking relationship. So in VF, I try to do some case studies. And so if you want to study pseudonym, the classic example is Mark Twain. As you know, professor always talk about Mark Twain. And so, OK, so I still want to try Mark Twain first in VF. And then I realized it's really challenging to figure out it's, it's really challenging for someone who doesn't know me as well. So well. As you can see, under the Mark Twain, if you know his real name, is Daniel Clemens, and there are four groups of heading to choose. And you can see the other names actually is pretty mixed. You can see the names with less library to really make a separate record and identifier. And even the last one you can see, on, even LCNAP doesn't have it, only two records from ISNI and Sudan Conference. Another one I will show you the slide because too confusing and too complex. There's two authors. They have two joint pseudonyms and they also publish their works in their real name and they are all pseudonyms. And also I try to find a Taiwanese name. And this one is amazing to see his real name only in Sydney, but if not in LCNF. The last one even more amazing. Could you imagine a person want to have 55 students? <laughs> you know, I have my I have the second major in psychology. I really want to treat him as my research subject because I want to become one. It made my job so difficult. <laughs> so over here you can see um, these two fascinating authors. Um, they have joint pseudonyms, but two different joint pseudonyms. And also James have his, also published some works under his real name. And Michael has also published books in his real name, but he also has his own four different pseudonyms. What can I say? Life is complicated. <laughs> so I just want to share um, the finding of my research. And first I want to say, if you go to the VF, and I really want to divide into two different groups, is persons with person with one identity, person with more than one identity. 
And the investigation <coughs> with the item life is much easier and simple. Just why identify a record linking? But if it's record person with more than one identity, and then RDA has separate identifier records for different each identity. The non RDA record could be just one identifier for the person with mixed identities. And over here, I want to show different type of scenarios. And this may be a simple one. Just a person with only publication, the person only published under pseudonyms. And we data, which is Wikipedia, we data just with the real name, with the variant name, and with pseudonym. But LCNAP was two separate records and linked them together as separate pseudonym. And this one, I really want to combine the art with cyberspace. Maybe I have to, I fantasize too much. But I'm thinking about, it could be a person, person one. You can see the wiki data with one identifier, and they are seeing that with a real name, and joint pseudony with person two. Person has the joint pseudony, has his own real name. The wiki data has one identifier. On the other hand, in the cyberspace, maybe this person has this unknown, it's like a, um, anonymous identity and just doesn't want to share with anyone, it's like a digital identity. And uh, so it could be for this kind of reason, and they are just like an orphan, not linked to this name at all. So that's why I want to summarize the complex issue in VR. So it was a person or identity based identify a single or separate record approach, and you can see you can see the inconsistency in linking related identities. This inconsistency in variant names and diverse definition of relating names and pseudonym because of the privacy and security issues. Again, I would like to use a table to summarize all these issues. <laughs> As you can see, I try to say figure out the basis. So LCNF try to be identity if the record is updated or cataloged correctly. Easily, I would say it's pretty mixed. Okay? And we keep data, somehow it looks like it's person-based. The office identity with linking to person-based record is likely. And this basis is really linked to the identifier, as you can see. <coughs> you can see identity, and then over here you can see easily. They try to say identity only assigned to clusters with sufficient confidence rating assigned by the algorithm. So they really trust the algorithm. And uh, you can see big data is more like cluster, is under a person, and VR is cluster identifier, cluster created based on the alignments of data can change frequently. So over here, I don't want to go into details because of the time, but I would have to say it's quite challenging to compare to see related identity, how different systems use a different kind of strategy and definition. So over here, I just want to have some my, have with my liberty knowledge and just based on my observation and some recommendation. And I think we need the semantic mapping with granularity because in RDA it has an alternate identity for variety of pseudonyms. But actually there are different type of pseudonym, different, different type of the pseudonym, like a joint pseudonym and different type of pseudonym. And we have different types of identity as I mentioned earlier. And also because of privacy issue, how can we just unlink identity proposals request? Also in LCNAP, related identifier, sometimes I feel troublesome, people still add the VR ID, the identifier into the 024 field. However, the person with more than one identity, that kind of linking relationship actually is not accurate because if your identity base is not one-to-one -one relationship, and I don't think it's appropriate to assign there. And I really think we should improve the VR linking and mapping. I think maybe when machine cannot do something, then we need an expert to really have domain space expert to help. And the VR, if we can have an interface with granularity for person with more than one, one identity, I think it will be really helpful for user to use this with caution. And then people, it's something like straightforward, just one identity will be easier. VF interface can be enhanced to group names in each language as when I search one by talent. I think it's so helpful if it's divided by languages. 
Uh, also, you know, one really important document is the LCPCC suit on the FAQ document A3. I really think some information really need to be updated and revised in terms of link data. And I think we need a further research, or I should do further research, is I think, this, you know, as you can see, we have wait, we can see many, much, much better tools maybe come up. And also I think it's important with smarter processing, we have the expert even to help intervene to help with find data. As you can see, identity management is an emerging field with complex issues, cyberspace, privacy, security. You know, with fear, fear is more driven by published items. On the other hand, archival domain is much broader than fear. And I think we need to set up the goal of the library link data. You know, we have to really define, evaluate data models to make library metadata really truly systematic linked. Thank you for your attention.